Hello you guys and welcome back to Miss Creative 47 YouTube channel. Here's another video for you. Now I was getting ready to go and decorate because I have a Cricut Cut too. So I wanted to decorate my Cricut Cut and I wanted to use this little girl on there and I wanted to say uh, up under her what you making. And I was going to put it when you open up the door on your Cricut Cut. That's what I uh, want to see when I open it up. Now this would be my second time trying to uh, work in Cricut Cut. My I specialize basically with silhouette. I do everything in silhouette because I love silhouette so much. But since I was given the opportunity to have this Cricut Cut machine uh, as a gift, so I'm going to try and use it as well. I probably use it for my vinyl and I use my silhouette for the rest of the stuff that I, I create. So this is what I want to do, but I tried it and I got so frustrated. So I wanted to do a video because her lips are so thin and actually this bar right here is thin as well so what I want to do is make her uh, a little bit thicker um, up under the eyebrows right up on the over her eyes and maybe the nose in this piece right here in her lips and stuff so I did it over here already and I need to ungroup it or to release compound path but that is not how I did it that's how I messed up the first time so I said okay let me figure out how to do this so what I did was I'm going to just go ahead and move her off to the side and I'm going to copy and paste this one here and what I'm going to do is go to my trace and uh, area window where I do the trace and detach. I'm going to click on it, go over her to get the outline and hope she comes up. Okay. So I went here and try to get it as okay. So that's what I want. So I'm going to do a trace Come on. Okay, so hopefully it worked this time because it's been giving me a lot of trouble. Let me see. Move her over. I'm going to ungroup, I mean, release the compound path. And what I did was I just clicked on pieces that I wanted and I noticed that her eye, the little eyebrow over here is attached to the hair so I wasn't able to do too much with that or is that is this the eyebrow or this one I don't know is this is something I guess the little lid that over her eye or whatever but I clicked on this piece at the bottom here and I clicked on this and her nose and what I did was I went to my offset and clicked on offset. And I said, I want it to go down some. I don't want it to be that big. So it depends on how big you want it to be. Um, I think I had it at like 20. And I just apply and then I just move the middle one that I had. And you see the difference between the two is a little bit thicker okay then I'm just going to delete those and I'm going to do this one as well and I'm gonna come down to about 20 apply apply it's working I'm working it to Okay, I got rid of the wrong one. Let me backspace that. Click off of it and get the one in the middle. Delete that. Now that's bigger and trying to see what else I need to do. Now the bar that she's she has is a little um thin too, but I'm gonna to try to figure out how to do that because I wasn't able to take it off because is attached to most of her uh, hair 
So I'll figure that out. I'll just be careful when I take that off. So I've got the one that really gave me trouble when I was trying to do it. And I might do this one. And let me see. I can't do that one because it was going to, it's a part of this unless I cut that off. And what I could do if I cut it off, um, I want to make it a solid line. So when I do cut it off, it closes it in. So let me zoom in a little bit. This is what I'm talking about. So when I do decide to cut that off, it's supposed to See, it's not doing it for me probably because I can't do anything because it's not a um, compound path or yeah a compound path so if I was to click this and go to here and make convert to path maybe I'm able to do something with that but if not I'm just gonna have to leave that part alone so I'm just going to go here and no, it will not let me do anything to that because it's open. Now, what I could do is I could go get my line tool and I could put that there and see if I can do it now. Nope, actually, it's just making little lashes on it. So let me go back and I'll leave that one alone. And I'm gonna zoom out. Let's zoom in a little bit and leave that one. Leave that alone. So her nose and up under her lip and stuff is a little bit fuller. This right here, I'm going to make a little bit bigger too. So let me go up there, get my move tool, and I'm going to do an offset again. Take it down to about 20. Just click on it and about 20 apply and get the smallest one out see how tiny that is no i'm not getting ready to weed that out bye bye okay so now she's ready so up here i might just go ahead and delete those things out because i'm not getting ready to cut that. that little thing right here nope all this little stuff here i'm getting ready to just go and delete those little bitty things it's not necessary I don't know what that is she can't hear anyway so I get rid of that so I'll get rid of that and yeah that's that's fine right there let me see anything I'll keep that one I want that everything else is fine so what I'm going to do is go ahead and do this and I'm going to see if I change it to the lines to black. Okay. Then I'm going to change the feel. I got to click on it. So black. And I'm going to go up here to make compound path. And now it changed her to a, a SVG or where well, you got to save it in SVG. So you actually you save this as a what is this a vector or they call it something else I forgot what it's called but it's ready for me to uh, do a cut if I, I want to go ahead and cut it and I will show you what it would look like if I bring it over here and it will cut out the outline see I have it on instead of me doing the simple and you see where it will cut out around everything that I need. You can also do fill and it still will do the same thing. It's just cutting out wherever it filled in with color and which is the black. But I'm going to just go ahead and do fill. But I'm gonna go back to design space right quick and bring my stuff over and she is this too big I wanted about about three and a half 
And if this one goes on the side of her, that's fine. Because actually I want, she could be a little bit bigger. She could be four. And I put this at the bottom. I'll put this over here. I can make this a little bit smaller. Like that. Now, what I didn't realize that I did not do is minimize the, um, where's she? Okay, so she, she here. So I didn't take, so let me delete this because I'm saying I'm just doing this. This is my second time trying to do this. So bear with me. So what I should have done was maybe even this off with that, make sure I have that. So I need to ungroup this one right here. And I'm going to get rid of that and I want to keep the white part. Now, even though her lips are bigger there, you will still get the black thin line. You see what I'm saying? So the black part is the one that I have been difficult trying to peel away the black part uh, around her face. Not the brown part, but the black part. Uh, when you peel it away, it pulls this off. And I, I need to leave that so you can see the shape of her nose and her mouth. So that's why I wanted to do it a little bit thicker. So I just want to make sure that this is right. Okay, so all these are together. So when I put it on, I'll just put it back in this uh, place. So what I'm going to do now, again, I need to pull this back over here. And over here, the things I do for my machines, I tell you, I would never, I mean, it is issues trying to learn these machines and do different things so now i need to group them i'm not going to group them i'm just going to drag my mouse over it and shrink it down because i want make sure that the the bow in the shirt in the eyes and stuff is the same size uh, of the outline so i want to do about four inches because i think the machine doorway is about five so four will be a nice big size. Okay, so I got both of them lined up. So all I'm just going to do is remove the other parts that I don't need. I think that's it, right? Yes. Okay. Hope so. Let me see. Yes. Okay, so now we can get ready to cut this out. And I have my machine set with the vinyl. So I'm gonna move this over and I'm gonna go to send. And actually, I want simple, right? I want to put a box around this and do no color around this box. Okay, I forgot to click on it. No color. Okay, so no color. So it's going to cut out this box too. That way I, all I have to do is deal with this part right here. Okay, so let's go and send this to the cut. Click on that, it's ready. I'm gonna do vinyl. It's matte, not the shiny kind. And I'm going to go send. Mm -hmm. 